I want to take a quick moment right now while there's nobody still in the gym to send this message out to you out there if you're listening to me. Here is the message. If you had a goal to start with that was to be the best of the best that you could possibly be as a student athlete and rise to the surface and then some and then have a meteoric rise beyond the surface past wherever anybody else thought you could be before other than maybe like your parents or something and you were committed to that and you were and you were doing everything you needed to do and you were you're lifting the weights properly you were doing the extra speed stuff you're supposed to do you're going to the extra practices you were reviewing your film you were seeking out other coaches and mentors and other people to allow yourself the opportunity and to seek out challenges to grow and then and even though that was painful to put yourself on a new level and now all of a sudden all of a sudden you've gotten close to the pinnacle you've gotten close to your greatest opportunity and unfortunately somebody's told you that you couldn't do it or maybe you don't have as many friends as you used to or maybe other people are uncomfortable by your success or maybe you are you know not feeling at home wherever you are or whatever the story is and maybe this is your time to like decide this isn't where you're supposed to be or you're not you're you're not prepared to succeed at this level or maybe just maybe this is another obstacle that's in your way that you are supposed to look at as an opportunity to grow yet again maybe you shouldn't listen to some of those people that tell you you're not good enough or oh you should settle for this or you should just go back here and do that or whatever else there was maybe you should have listened to your high school coach that told you you probably couldn't do it or your high school friends that said you couldn't do it or if you're in high school maybe it was your middle school friends or if you're in middle school maybe it was your elementary school friends or if you're beyond college, maybe it's like you're at a new job and it's a little bit more difficult. Maybe you should go back to the other job that was more comfortable, that was easier. Or maybe you should start working harder and being more intelligent about your decisions and find a way to put yourself in the situation where you're in the group, where you can really showcase your skills and allow yourself that opportunity to actually succeed in this situation but you can't just run away from it you can't I mean if you want to go ahead but then again like what did you ever even start for why did you invest your time and energy and also your parents time and energy and your coaches time and energy and your trainers time and energy and all these other people that contributed to your cause what was your cause about Was it about being comfortable? Or can you actually look at your situation and say, what is great about this? Where is there a challenge in this that I can grow from? How can I use my current skills in this situation to do better than I'm doing currently? Who can I actually lean on and get mentorship on in this situation to be successful? Who else is where I am right now and they're being successful? What can I learn from them? Who can I kind of like, boom, latch my carriage onto and actually get pulled a little bit because of what they have going for them and what knowledge they already have? How can you win in this situation? How can you become better? This is the question you need to ask yourself. Not how can I find a way out. Not how can I turn around and head back in the other direction. But how if I turn around for a second, is there another path that still gets me forward? That still moves me to where I'm supposed to be? What was your why when you began? And why did you ask other people to jump on board? You still have a why. You still have an opportunity. You're still on course. You just need to make some adjustments need to find your opportunity for leverage on that situation and turn it into something great. Like Ryan Holiday says, that obstacle is the way. Listen to the Kobe Bryant interview with Lewis Howes. Listen to Jim Quick's interview with Naveen Jain. Listen to, there's a million different interviews. Peter Diamandis talking with Stephen Kotler about being bold and taking incredible action. Listen to, you know, 
Elon Musk talk about things. Listen to Steve Jobs talk about overcoming things. Listen to the, the last lecture. Listen to, there's so many different things that you can listen to that can motivate you. Listen to Tom Bilyeu, listen to T Lisa Bilyeu, listen to, there's, there's a gazillion different people that can push you in the right direction. They can lead you in the right direction. They can pull you in the right direction. But you have to still want to go in that direction. And the people that are behind you, of course they're gonna be calling over your shoulder. Of course they're gonna be saying, hey, listen, you know, it's convenient for them to pull you back to them. What are you missing out on, though, if you don't move forward? That's the question. One of the beauties of my job is I get to see people overcome these incredible obstacles. But one of the most frustrating pieces is me having to allow certain situations and certain people to fail in order to move forward. And sometimes it's a big step back and they give up on themselves in the process and it is, it is like watching you know, a great tragedy on a movie screen or in a book and I'm reading the pages and I know what's coming on the next page. And I still have to go through the process and hope that I can get that student athlete to think differently because they once thought differently or maybe it was just so easy in the past because they were so talented that they haven't figured out how to move forward in the future with this new level of commitment that they're going to have to have and so this is where the rubber meets the road they say are you going to put up or shut up are you going to really like reveal that you weren't much of a competitor after all you weren't really committed after all all these other things, you know, all these other doubts, you gotta, just like a table, like Tony Robbins says, you gotta, you gotta chop out, you gotta take out the legs of that table of doubt. You can do it, but you have to do it. I, we can't make you do it. We wouldn't wanna make you do it. If you no longer wanna be the greatest you could possibly be as a student athlete, I'm not gonna tell you that's fine because I don't agree with that. That's not my belief. I'm not gonna lie to you to make you feel more comfortable so you can go to sleep. Do some film, do some studying. You have moments, you have windows of opportunity where you can massively move forward, where you can massively change your future because you can take incredible action that's gonna have significant impact on what you can do on your ability. But you have to do it. I can't do it. Your mom can't do it, your dad can't do it. Your coach from high school can't do it. Your travel coach can't do it. Your trainer can't do it. None of these people can do it. You have to do it. You. And the funny thing is, you can do it because you're already in a spot where you have already been recognized for your, your excellence and that's why you have been given the opportunity and you've worked for it too. Now sit down for a second and, and at least write out the pros and cons before you give up on yourself. There's so many of you that go through this on a weekly basis, you doubt yourself. For what? What is the purpose of doubting yourself? There's no purpose. Wherever that voice or that thought comes in your head, treat it like it's a passing storm. Even if it's a terrible storm, it's going to pass. You don't have, you can sit there and admire it if you want to. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. It looks like I didn't think I was gonna actually be successful today. Who cares? Let it go. Once it's gone, move forward, okay? You don't have to pay attention to that thought, okay? And if somebody else in your life who's supposed to be a friend of yours or friends of yours are telling you things that are doubting your abilities, you don't need those friends in your life get new friends okay it's that simple it's that simple if you want to fall back on people who are looking for you to fall back those are no friends at all that's all i'm going to say to, to everybody who's having struggles out there right now and there's a ton there's a ton of you having struggles you're not by yourself trust me you're not by yourself even when you're by yourself you're still not by yourself there's always something bigger than you out there and there's also a ton of other people going through similar struggles. And some of them are gonna succeed and some of them are gonna maybe succeed later, but they're not gonna succeed now. And some are just gonna give up. You have to decide which one you're gonna be. You have to decide. You, not me. 
We've already put the time in. We're sitting back here cheering for you. That's all we can do.